Good afternoon and welcome to my uh, daily chat. This is episode number 629, that's 629. I keep counting. <laughs> I say, I'll keep counting. And uh, the title today is your, um, Why You Are Here, Your Dreams Are Calling. And this is part of what's shifting inside of me. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Before I do, let me choose myself in an adjusted format. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women find and create balance in love, life, and business. And things are changing. Um, so I'm going to give you some hints. And, and I can't talk about all of it because it's still so fresh and brewing. But Which is leading to the title. So anyway, so <laughs> because I'm a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine, which leads my work, I've been doing these talks every day now for over two years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. <sighs> things are changing. Um, I did a quick intro about this in a group that I'm doing a Facebook Live challenge in as well as doing my daily talks, talks here. And this has been, um, how can I say this, boy. I've been, sitting something for, I've been sitting with something for a while now and a shift that was been coming. And last night, some conversations sparked some thoughts and today some downloads are happening. So things are moving. So I wonder, what I know is my work is evolving. And it's tying some things together in a way that I didn't expect before because I've been sitting with this for a while. So I'm gonna tell you about what's going on for me first, then I'm gonna give you some suggestions about what you might wanna do in response or in parallel to that. So hold tight, it's gonna be fun. Um, well, let me go, sorry, let me, <laughs> I'm jumping all over the place. Let me start with the title. Welcome to episode 629. The title today is um, Why You Are Here, Your Dreams Are Calling. And this is what's going on for me right now on another level. I've been very clear since I started doing this work that I've been doing that living a purpose-filled life, a purpose-fueled life is absolutely fundamentally required for every single person on the planet. If you aren't living your calling, your true heart's desire, your true heart's work, you're wasting your time in a way because what you're doing is you're not, you're not here living what you're meant to be doing by being on the planet. Yes, I'm gonna be, be a little philosophical and metaphysical and existential right now, so bear with me. I'm very, I'm very aware that a lot of people are just living nine to five jobs. And it's funny, I just saw a meme today. That's one of the things that triggers me. Um, a guy, so just, just picture this, if you will. I'm going to try to describe a visual meme to you. So this guy, this is this guy, this um, older guy who looks very, very, um, the word I want to use is smarmy. It's an English word. I don't think it's an American word, actually. But it's very much around the, um, Like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's an American word for that. Sleazy, that's a word, sleazy. Anyway, he's, this guy is gonna suit leaning against this Lamborghini. And the, the meme says, you know, guy says, uh, hey boss, nice car you got there. And the boss replies, yeah, it is, thank you. And if you work really hard and, and, do, do, and, and do all your work and you, and you achieve all your goals next year, I'll be able to get another one. Yeah. And this is the thing that, I'm not, and I'm going to be careful I say this, because there is a sense where a lot of people are working for somebody else's betterment. And that is I, something I did myself. I've done it in several careers where I was working for some, some like I was working in a, I remember working in a print shop, where I was working away, toiling away, and took, you know, sweat and tears in this print shop. And the boss is going out on his yacht every weekend because we'd been paying for his yacht because of the work we were doing for him. It's an interesting paradigm. And yes, there are benefits to working hard and, and being rewarded. But if you're benefiting from somebody else's work, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I was about to go, <laughs> I'm not saying any more on that. So let me back, let me rewind a bit and go a different direction because you get my point on that one. You can feel what I'm feeling. What I'm very worried of is that all of us have a focus, purpose, mission to live in the world which usually involves serving something bigger than ourselves. For some people, it is working in an employment situation for a boss to do something to change the planet, change the environment, whatever it is. Maybe you're working collaboratively with people who are doing something good for the planet. Maybe it's recycling or um, replanting or, or doing these sort of things. That could be one thing. However, we all have that gift, that mission, that calling, that drive to do something. And I started talking about this originally back in 2000, 
nine. I actually led a workshop called Revealing the Purpose of Your Heart because I was so adamant about that. Well, it feels like I'm, it feels like I'm coming back to that in a way, slightly, and I'm going to say more about that later on, as in another broadcast. But what I'm very aware of is something's moving for me. So let me just speak to what's in my process right now. Because one of the things I'm very clear about is um, spirit leaves clues. That's actually, that's actually a corruption of some other quote. But this, they say success leaves clues. Well, here's another thing I want to say. Spirit leaves clues, meaning that if you're like me, um, <laughs> maybe you are, you don't always hear the message when it first comes through from the highest source, that place, that wisdom inside. I literally bought a domain. Well, it's like obvious, isn't it? Literally. I actually I bought a domain at least six years ago that I never used for anything. I just knew I wanted to, I just had this idea to buy it. I grabbed it and I've been re renewing it every year since, which is, you know, I mean, some people, a lot of people do that where they buy, well, a lot of people I know buy a bunch of domains and they renew them all the time, don't use them for anything. But this one I knew was coming. Like I knew when I bought it, it's going to have some meaning down the road. Six, seven years later, it's coming to fruition. Not like I've been building and working on it, but I wasn't lined up with it until now. And I've talked about this before in my work that I would do the work with women and being a, divine, a passionate champion of the divine feminine. I'm very much about supporting women. That's definitely in my work and my calling, my purpose. But a funny thing happened yesterday. In some conversations last night, and one of my friends in particular was, I know she had an agenda when she talked to me, was saying about how it'd be wonderful if I talked to men about how to be better men around women. And that's true too. And this is what's been shifting for me. My work is expanding, yes. I know that I'm in my messaging, especially the last few broadcasts, I've been talking a lot more independent of gender in my work talks, as in not agenda, gender. <laughs> speaking to men and women, because I had this real sense that I was going to be speaking to in bringing people both into alignment with each other, masculine and feminine. And I also talks about toxic masculinity, which I have an issue with that. Hey, Gail, it has been Asian. I've seen my broadcast. Oh, by the way, this is a Facebook Live in case you're wondering who I'm talking to. If you're watching on YouTube or replay, this is Facebook Live. So, um, yes, Gail, I'm <laughs> nice to see you. We, sh we should catch up one of these days. We haven't talked for quite a while. And it has been ages. Um, so, getting back on track for a second. So, what I'm very aware of is that Spirit's calling me forward in a different way. Or, I should say, in an expanded way. So, all the work I've been doing, what the work I've been doing for the last well, the work I've been doing personally myself in my journey for the last 30 years is starting to become really gelled together in my own way of speaking and teaching and, and, and leading. And it seems to be now extending beyond the framework of relationship because a lot of people I've helped in relationship been great, but I've always felt there's something more, like there's, there's something else, something else, something else. Well, I think I know what the something else is. And um, cool, yes. Um, and truth is that what I'm what I'm what I'm called to do because the thing I'm noticing, frankly, is that I have felt in the middle of some energetic shift the last few weeks. And a friend of mine told me last night, part of it's because of the we had, we had the full moon eclipse. Uh, sorry, full moon eclipse. We had the super moon last night. Actually, yesterday morning and yesterday evening, um, the sn they call it the snow super moon or something like that. Whether or not that impacted me, I don't know. But I was feeling at the same time this this sense of being in molasses because I wasn't functioning the way I was and because I realized now what's going on is I was being pushed through <laughs> like pushed through a, a squeeze a squeeze tube into another space because that's what it feels like but now something's showing up for me that I'm going to be working on and I'll be sharing it not yet because it's not ready to show yet but I'm I'm definitely going to be launching something soon I hope because it's definitely needed that's going to wake up people in a whole new way so this is a teaser <laughs> and so um I am definitely still supporting women and being more feminine in the world. That's part of what's becoming very clear lately that I'm really passionate about supporting women and speaking to women about empowering and inspiring their feminine gifts into the world in service, which as a guy is a very weird thing for people to think, but I know it's the truth. And when I speak to women, they get it. So that's coming forward very clearly. And I'm also coaching women to really heal their hearts too, because that's part of the challenge for women. A lot of women is they've been, ladies watching will know this, you, you've, you've suffered some slings and arrows over life and have a lot of wounding from past relationships, from family dynamics, from even other men who weren't in a relationship with you. And a lot of my work is helping you heal. And part of it's by my representation of being a man that is 
safe to be with as part of my superpowers <laughs> sort of thing so that's going on too but there's, there's more brewing a lot of it's to do with people's purpose and calling which is why I talked about this talk I, told, you know, I said I did a workshop I, t I led a workshop seven no nine years ago was it 2008 uh, yes nine years ago again called revealing the purpose of your heart and I'm bringing that back in again because it's part of what's coming forward so again new stuff brewing I don't I'm not going to share the names of stuff yet because it's going to be I've got to do a launch on it at some point but if you are in one of these areas I can help you right now because that's what I'm working on one is the relationship centric support particularly women who want to get healed to attract healthy relationships and also want to be more empowered in your feminine in the world let's talk secondly I am starting to entertain more men in my work because some men are looking for support in how to be better men with women because all my women friends are saying please help them <laughs> so if you're a man who's in that place you want some support let's talk as well I have some guidance and some skills that can help you with that and thirdly if you really don't know why you're here oh it's not an accident you're on, you're on this live too oh oh then message me let's talk yeah we'll find it on talk on our schedules I know we're in different time zones by slight difference um, but yes if you're also not sure about your clarity about why, you're, why you're here what you're about and what what is driving you I have some tools that can help you with that too so this is a little mini pitch um, in a way but it's also a reminder that there's more out there more possibility if you're feeling like you're stagnating you're not getting where you want to go maybe you're just in a job that's paying the bills but not paying it's not serving your life we should talk so maybe similar well let's do, let's talk offline Gail and definitely we'll uh, see if we have an alignment because we know it could be something we align with um, this is very fresh in me but it's also something that's been around for a while so it's kind of now I know why that happened so many years ago sort of coming together now so we'll see what happens anyway this has not necessarily been my most articulate Facebook live <laughs> but I wanted to talk about something to get this out because it's been in my mind and it's been on my um, thought process for the last 20 plus hours just sitting with it for last, since last night so um, I hope this has made some sense to you. If it has been of support to you and you have questions, please reach out to me. Either put it in the comments below or message me over social media or if you watch on YouTube, over on YouTube as well. Um, this is cool, yes. So again, this is my Facebook Live. I do every day, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And also I then replays onto my business page on Facebook, onto my YouTube channel and on my podcast. And I'll give you the replay links. First of all, um, if you want to join me live, it's 5 p.m. Pacific time in my personal page which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby if you are catching my replays you can catch them on my business page because my business page is much more um, selective it's personally just my Facebook lives so it's easy to sort through which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author if you're a YouTube viewer and you're watching this on YouTube you probably are looking through my channel which is Barry Selby please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then there is a playlist called messages from the masculine where all my video videos live in YouTube format of course without the comments and the interaction because you won't see them um, and that's three four um, <laughs> my podcast on iTunes is also called messages from the masculine you can subscribe to my podcast and you can download the audios of some of my earlier talks and that's going to get revised at some point I'm, I'm also feeling the pull to start putting out a podcast a real one at some point how it's going to happen I don't know but that's on that's on the, on the radar as well so let's just say things are definitely happening this year I, I, I knew the end of 2018 2019 was going to be big I'm starting to get a sense what it's going to be like and I'm I trust I'm ready for it so I appreciate you being with me on this adventure and if you've been following me for a while you know that my life is definitely a, an open book so I appreciate you being with me again and um, tomorrow maybe back on the relationship centric conversation we'll see the last few talks have definitely been inspirational points that will help you get more joy out of life not just in relationship so I hope this has been a value to you as well so with that thank you for watching I will be back again tomorrow and if you have questions thoughts about this broadcast please point them below if you want to share it with anybody I'm not sure if you would feel free to share it out and again if you want to have some support reach out to me over social media either message me here or over YouTube if you're watching it there or go to my website which is barryselby.com and click on the contact button and fill out a form there uh, in fact I'll put a link on that in the comments so you have that to reach out to me if you want to have more support and that that is that um, I appreciate you being with me I will see you again tomorrow take care of yourselves and 5pm uh, Pacific time Join me here. Bye.